So, how does VA determine service-connected disability? Well, there are seven different ways. The first is called direct service connection, which is any chronic injury or disease that occurs during military service and is documented in your medical record. Second is an aggravation of a pre-service disability. If a person enters active duty with a history of an injury that occurred before enlistment and the rigors of military duty aggravate the injury beyond its natural progression, service connection can be established. The third way is through presumptive service connection. The activities and locations involved with military service can sometimes cause the onset of a chronic disease that may not manifest until after discharge. These diseases can be service-connected if they become symptomatic within a year of discharge or even many years later. Fourth is secondary service connection. This happens when a service-connected disabled veteran's injury or disease causes a different type of disability to occur. Fifth is through paired organs and extremities. If a veteran is service-connected for total impairment of one organ or extremity and the paired organ or extremity also becomes non-functional, compensation will be granted as if both are service-connected. Sixth is through VA hospital care or treatment. If your visit to the VA is negligent or causes disability through unforeseen causes, service connection is also established. And last is disability through VA vocational rehabilitation. If an injury occurs as a direct result of an employment training program through the VA, service connection is established. And now you know. For more information about the seven ways to service-connected disability, contact your nearest DAV National Service Office. Visit DAV.org and click Veterans to find no-cost claims help today.